Do you want your diesel to not have any bubbles in the line that's coming in? I had bubbles in my inlet line for the longest time ever. Ooh. And I couldn't figure it out. Look at this, all dry. I even switched my fuel filter to the old school filter where it didn't have that middle part where it, the notorious leaking seals and the recirculating diesel portion that's in here. I switched it to the old one. And I freaking ran the straight line back. I did this modification because I thought this was where it was pulling air from, but that was not the case. Ah. The problem ended up being in the back. So right here, where you have your fuel tank pickup assembly. So there is a line going in and the line going out. The line going out is what the injection pump is pulling from this tank. Ah. That line, you could both push air through and suck air out after hooking a little hose to it. And it was very much restricted. The line that was coming in, which is the return from the diesel pump, was freely moving. It had a check valve, which means I was able to push air in, but as I was sucking back, it stopped. Pretty much tells me that that portion worked. Oh, oh my God. So the line that's feeding the fuel pump was restricted. So what I did was, is I took the smallest drill bit that I had, I drilled right in the center and the line going out, the line that was clogged, the line that had a restriction. So I just drilled right straight through that valve. Ah. Then I took a size bigger, but that was just smaller than the diameter of the hole that's coming out. They're the, they're the same size. They're the same size. And so pretty much to widen that hole. And on very low speeds, I drilled it out once more. I blew it out with some brake clean and make sure there weren't any pieces in there. And also tested it that I did not crack anything while I was drilling and put it all back together. I've been driving on this car for about three weeks now and it starts perfectly. It accelerates even faster at the higher RPMs and there's no bubbles. Ooh. So I was having an issue where it was throwing a code that the injection timing was too advanced. So what happens when you get air bubbles in your injection pump is the injection pump will automatically advance the timing and you, you will even get a code that will tell you that your timing is too advanced oh or incorrect God. timing. So that's what I was getting. I was getting periodically, I was getting these codes that it's too advanced. And so after I did the modification, obviously, this is all clear. I don't see a bubbles in days. If I leave the car in the garage for a couple of days and it's not running, none of the fuel gets retrieved in any direction. It still starts just fine. Oh, wow. Jeez, okay. And so that's the procedure that you need to do if you pretty much checked everything else and you can't figure out why you have bubbles. The reason why this happens though the reason why this happens is not anywhere in here. It's because these connectors here, and you have another pair of these connectors that are under the car that go to your fuel tank. They have little O-rings, and those little O-rings are meant to sustain only a certain amount of vacuum. So when this thing is starts pulling, because this thing can pull a shit ton and if you have restriction in the back, the air will start seeping in through these O-rings. So that's why you get air. It's not, there's not a problem in here. There's not a problem anywhere else. The problem is the restriction that's in the back. So yeah, you can get yourself a new fuel pump assembly for 70 bucks if you want, but hey, 
I drilled mine out and it worked. So that's just a little tip that I wanted to give you guys. Uh, so subscribe, like, and comment.